Audi TTRS in Australia mid-2017, priced from around $145,000. The second-generation Audi TTRS coupe will hit local showrooms for around $145,000 when the flagship variant of the small sports coupe lands in Oz in mid-2017. Its drop-top twin, the first-ever TTRS Roadster, has yet to be rubber-stamped for importation, though Audi Australia has suggested that the two-door version would likely be five grand more, expensive. Like for like, the TTRS Coupe marks a modest price hike over its ostensible replacement, the first-generation TTRS Plus, which listed for $139,990 before on-road costs. At $145 k odd, the new Ren Sport developed Coupe is over twice the price of the entry-level three-door manual TT, which is currently $71,950, plus on roads. The production version of the high-performance DT makes good on promises made at its debut at the Beijing Motor Show back in April, with 294 kilowatts and 480 newton meters produced by its two 5-liter turbocharged 5-cylinder petrol engine. Outputs are 29 kilowatts and 15 newton meters up over the older Ultimate Plus version. Claimed 0 to 100 kilometers per hour acceleration is a scintillating 3.7 seconds. A 0, 4 seconds improvement over the outgoing plus, for the coupe and a slightly more leisurely 3, 9 seconds for the roadster. Top speed is electronically limited to 250 km per hour though, as with other RS models, it can be cost optionally raised to 280 km per hour. Both are exclusively offered with 7-speed dual-clutch Astronic transmissions and Ren Sport enhanced Quattro permanent all-wheel drive while acceleration prowess is aided by a launch control system. The new TTRS marks two milestones for series production Audis. Firstly there's the debut of its matrix OLED, pronounced OLED by its maker and meaning organic light emitting diode technology, a thin film LED application offering a bespoke three-dimensional effect to the, optional, taillights. More crucially, perhaps, is the introduction of an all-new five-cylinder engine design. The 2480cc inline-5 is not the same iron block unit as fitted to the old TTRS or current RS3 hatchback, but instead a revamped design with all aluminium construction. The crankcase and bed pen are new, the crankshaft is hollow, whereas the RS3 engines is solid, the, port and direct, dual-injected top end is completely revised, as is the turbocharger unit. All up. The new engine is said to be 26 kg lighter as a result. Official average combined cycle fuel consumption claims are 8 2 liters slash 100 kms for the coupe, a saving of 0 3 liters over its predecessor, and 8 3 liters for the Roadster. Despite some 17% extra power, part of the consumption benefit is attributed to lower curb weight, the coupe tipping the scales at 1,440 kg a saving of 35 kg over previous DTRS's models. Compared with the coupe, the Roadster is 90 kg heftier, at 1,530 kg. The Roadster's convertible soft top is electrically operated and can be raised or stowed within 10 seconds while the car is traveling the speeds of up to 50 km per hour. The steering and ESP tuning are RS specific and globally there's a choice of either static or optional adaptively damped suspension systems, both 10mm lower than other TT variants. In Europe, 19 inch wheels with 245mm tires are standard while 20 inch rims shod with wider 255mm rubber is optional. The standard brake package includes 8 piston 370mm steel front disc assembly while a six-piston slash carbon ceramic system is optional in both Australia and Europe. The TTRS is available in nine different exterior paint colors as well as a choice of optional matte silver or gloss black accents, with a further choice of Audi exclusive hues on special order request. Interior fitment comes in four different color combination schemes. Inside, the global menu offers a choice of Alcantara or Napa leather trim on a choice of either regular RS bucket seats or, optional for Europe, electro-pneumatic high-spec seating with adjustable side bolsters. The steering wheel has been lifted from the R8 supercar and features both a start, stop button and a drive mode button, 
the latter allowing the driver to switch between comfort, auto, dynamic and assignable individual driving modes. The virtual cockpit 12, 3-inch digital driver's display has an animated RS view adopting a centralized Tacho where, once the gearbox's manual mode is engaged, the Tacho needle bar graduates from green through orange and red and then flashes red as an up gauge indicator at red line. This mode also displays output and G-force meters. The Ren Sport version debuts Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone connectivity though it's unconfirmed if a new Audi Sport performance app developed for the car will be available for the Australian version. This app logs a number of car parameters such as speed, time, RPM, steering angle, G-force, throttle position and brake pressure for use on racetracks via database or road via Google sourced SatNav. While exact specifications are yet to be confirmed, Audi Australia has revealed that the expected standard equipment will include 20-inch wheels, LED headlights, the high-spec electro-pneumatic seats with heating, rear parking camera, smartphone connectivity, MMI navigation plus, active lane keep assist and blind spot monitoring.